Knight's SR15 upper. I have another video on uh, some of. The, I have another video on some of the stuff we did here, but put this uh, Surefire light on, and I wanted to show you guys this 100 Concepts light cap. So I'll turn the light on. No light showing through. Their information, I'll put a link below, but these light caps give off a reflection when they're not covered. Also, I don't know if you've ever broken one of these, but they can, uh, they can break. So a little extra protection. They are, um, I think like $12 each shipped. Sticker come like this, different sizes. So small worked for the Surefire 600 but you uh, you want to see what's going on with your light to see what fits. They have a uh, scale on their site. So it comes shipped with uh, Ranger Band so that keeps the cap from flopping around and making noise. It goes on after you um, get this threaded in and install. So the steps here are the shock cord, Put it through one end, tie a simple knot, um, put the cap on, bring the string around, tie another knot, flip it 180, and then put the uh, ranger band on. So I'll show you how that works. Simple overhand knot there. Then uh, put your cap on with the tab facing the opposite direction of where you want it to activate. So I'm just going to put it pointing up and then get your shock cord in, thread it through, find out where it stops naturally, hold your finger there, take the cap off, tie an overhand knot where your finger was. Okay, turned it where I want it. Now, this is probably the trickiest part is getting this little over the top here, but uh, it's not that difficult. You just spread it and force it and just remember that it's not going to break easily and you want it to wind up right about where the light head is. I find just stretching it as much as I can and just forcing it over is uh, the easiest way to get this uh, uh, ranger band holder on. You can see here it's flipped. This uh, tab is to the outside and it just slides off, clicks back on, nice positive click. Last thing is Cut the uh, end of the of the shock cord, and then just use a uh, lighter to melt the end so it doesn't fray. And that's it. Uh, pretty straightforward. Again, there's a link to there's a link to these if you want to order some. They got some other cool stuff and little pieces of equipment on their site. Um, support them. Thanks everybody for watching. Please do subscribe to the channel. We really appreciate your support.